So I've been waking up at 5 a.m. for the past week. I know, I'm just as shocked. Honestly, before this whole journey, I actually needed a video on how to first not fall asleep at 5 a.m. Clearly, things have drastically changed. Thumbs up if this is you and your whole sleep schedule is messed up. So today I wanted to share with you some useful ways to wake up early, but actionable ways that will make you love waking up early and just make it a really consistent habit, which is good to have. I'm really curious, comment below what time you typically sleep at and what time you typically wake up at, not to make fun or poke fun at you at all. I just want you to see that you're not the only person feeling this way. You are not alone in this, trust me. I was that type of person, I'd be sleeping at 5 a.m., honey. Now I'm waking up at 5 a.m. You know, I've also found that waking up early has given me more of a mindful and and just like it sets the tone for my entire day. So here are the steps to how you can start waking up early, 5 a.m. early. So this actually begins the night before. It starts with how many hours of sleep do you really need to be a well-functioning human? Do you need five hours? Do you need six hours? Go to sleep the night before and give yourself a full six hours, a full seven hours. Make sure you are in bed by that time. I myself only need between like six to seven hours. I'm pretty good. Now, how do you get in bed by that time? I'm about to tell you how. Number one, thing I would say is put your phone to sleep. I literally have a designated room every single night at a specific time where I put my phone to sleep. I connect my phone in that room. Now what this does is it not only allows you to finally disconnect from your phone and all of that stuff and the world, but also I recommend doing this an hour before you're gonna go to sleep so that you have like a nice full hour that you could be in bed, doing something that's not with a phone and not with social media because you know you click one thing, then you start clicking another thing. Sooner or later you're just scrolling through a million different things so put your phone to sleep now on top of doing that I also put my phone on airplane mode I've just found that it's less tempting that way so you're literally unbothered for the rest of the night which is amazing another really useful thing that I have found has been to dim my lights right before I'm about to go to sleep there's actually a lot of studies that show that whitish or bluish lights tend to mess with your circadian rhythm which basically is like your whole sleep cycle white lights have actually shown to cause more insomnia and sleeping disorder any little thing that you could do to change your light from white or blue to yellow will help you so much. Yellow lights actually mimic candles back in the day. Candles were used as a way to, you know, kind of show your body like it's time to relax. It's time to set yourself in that mood to go to sleep. I just got myself a little dimmer for my bedroom and then an hour before I go to sleep, I already start dimming the light. I'm in bed, I start reading and it just kind of gets me like ready for bed, you know? I don't have this big bright light or a cell phone in my hand which can really affect that. Right, as easy as this one might sound. You need to set your alarm, honey. I set my alarm for 5 a.m. It seems like a really easy thing to do, but you'd be surprised how many people don't actually set their alarm at a good time. And when I'm telling you to set an alarm, I'm saying just set one timer. I put 5 a.m. and that is it. If you're already starting to put 5 a.m., then you have 5.15, then 5.25, just in case you wake up, you're already setting yourself up for failures. I have heard of this app. I'm gonna link it down below. I'm not really sure quite what the name of it is, but it makes you do math questions before you wake up. So it literally will not let you turn off the alarm until you finish doing like three math questions. It just kind of alerts your brain. So I'm gonna link that down below in case you guys are interested. That way you can no longer trick yourself into not waking up. This one by far is one of the biggest steps and it is knowing your why. Why are you waking up early? Because truly, once you wake up early, if you don't have a reason or an understanding as to why you're waking up, you'll literally convince yourself of all these reasons why you should go back to bed. And then what happens? You go back to bed. So what is your why? Is it to spend more time doing the things that you love? Is it to just have some me time? I have found that my whole day, like literally the tone of my day is so much more productive. I get everything done that I wanna do because I set time in the morning to do the things that matter to me. Literally that alone helps me get out of bed. This next step is a weird one, but it is essential. I have found you need a schedule. If you wake up super early, you are roaming aimlessly throughout the morning and you're just kind of like, what? What do I do now? First time that I ever woke up at 5 a.m., I literally I stared at my dog for 45 minutes. Having a schedule can really like hone in on why did I wake up early. It's always okay to, you know, maneuver it and change it as you go and whatever's natural to you. I also suggest that you connect this schedule with your why. So for me, it's more me time. I'm gonna kind of go through what my morning schedule looks like and how it's been really effective for me and how I've changed it up and what it is. So congratulations, you are up at 5 a.m. So what's next? What I do every single morning is I hydrate myself. I get a nice big glass of water and I squeeze in some lemon juice and it makes me feel really good and it helps me digest. 
cleanses me. Like you also have to understand you've been sleeping for around six to eight hours. Your body hasn't drank anything. It's dehydrated. So getting a little glass of water and having a nice slow morning really helps a lot. And then I move into one of my favorite habits that I've started to implement in my life, which are morning pages. Morning pages are actually like a form of meditation to brain dump everything that you have in here onto paper. Okay, I was reading this book called The Artist's Way and the author in this book pretty much says that it's a longhand form for you to just write everything, three pages that's kind of like the key to this. And what it does is it just creates like this clarity throughout your whole day, right? Anything that's been in your head that you're super stressed out about, just put it on on paper. Eventually you'll get the hang of it and you'll just start writing things. You'll just be like, what the heck? I didn't even know this was on my mind. You are just writing anything and everything that pops up in your head without a care in the world for grammatical errors, for it even making sense. And this is like a form of therapy, you guys. It's crazy. You're actually not supposed to reread it again, but it's a chance for you to brain dump, okay? You're self reflecting, you're becoming more clear on what's on your mind, on what you're just leaving behind. And it's a great start to just set the tone for the rest of the day. Around 5.15, I usually pray. The first thing that comes to my mind at 5.15 in the morning is I just wanna pray. I connect with God at 5.15 in the morning. I actually take this time to just read the Bible. If you don't believe in God, then you know, find a way to, to be grateful. That's what it is to me. And I just have found that the peace that I feel, I can't even explain it, I can't put it to words. It's really, really beautiful. That's what I've been doing recently and it has been so helpful. Then around 5.30, I usually do creative work. I've been reading up on a lot of really successful people and a lot of them say that they do their creative work first in the day. Like you're the most enlightened at that time. You're at your brightest. I can get stuff done like that. Like whatever it is that you wanna do, do it in the morning, bright and early. Around 6.30 in the morning, I usually meditate. I found this to be the prime time for me because it's usually when the sun is rising and I just feel like Lion King. This is my time to just breathe slowly. I just kind of sit there and I breathe. Usually Jupiter is by my side, which makes me super happy. I'm just really grateful. I, it starts the day. I see the day commence, become alive. So then I highly recommend you to start breakfast. It's been a while now and you're probably really hungry. I usually prepare something the night before. Some of my quick ideas are like acai bowls. I absolutely love them. They make me feel so refreshed. Or I'll have freshly squeezed juice from like the night before. Probably just stick to like oatmeal. Nice, simple, hearty. It's all good in the hood. You need those carbs to get you up and running. So then around 6.30 to 7-ish, this is the time where I implement a little bit of exercise, whether it's a little bit of a stretch or yoga or just like walking my dog, Jupiter. I find that to be such an amazing thing for the rest of my day because my body's like stretched. So get exercise in as early as you can because you'll check it off and also you'll just feel really good about it. After I exercise, I tend to get ready. If you stay in your pajamas, not only can you kind of get really lazy with your day, but you don't want to present yourself. You just don't even want to go out. That turns into like a cycle of you just staying at home, eating, sleeping, not the stuff we want to do to be productive, right? So right after I get that good exercise in, I go, I take a shower, I get ready, and it just feels really good. You feel more confident too. It's just being clean, it makes you feel sexy, man. Well, it is around 7.45 and I have decided that I want to read. I just love this part of my day because I feel so accomplished. I really appreciate this time where I get to read and you know, knowledge is wealth in my eyes. Time for me to be alone, time to reflect, time to learn. Every Ever since I started to wake up this early, I've already read four books. Whoa. It's been from five to eight, 15. That's like three hours of just me time. And now the world is calling and now I can start my day. Final step to you being able to wake up early is repeat. You are gonna be so surprised at how quickly your body's gonna adapt to this to the point that you are even waking up like half an hour before your alarm. You know, you're getting in the gist of things and the only way to really, you know, create a habit is to do it consistently. Even on the weekends. This is gonna reset your whole day. You're gonna be so productive. I wanna wish you the best. I know you can do it. Leave me a comment down below what time would be like your ideal time to wake up in the morning. I know you got this. I know you do. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up and let me know down below in the comments what time you would love to wake up at. Subscribe to join the family. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. As always, don't forget to live weird or die normal. I kind of want to change that phrase up a little bit. Leave me some suggestions down below. I love you guys.